So this question looks like a simplify question. So simplify questions are usually between one and three lines long and contain either an expression or like in this case, an equation. So what we typically wanna do is to simplify the equation that we have. Now I cannot simplify this as is, there are no like terms, there's no distributing happening. So I'm gonna read the question and just see exactly what I'm being asked to do with this equation that's been provided. The question says the equation of a circle, okay, very important, in the xy plane is shown. What is the radius of the circle? So first of all, just as a little bit of review, the generic formula or equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h comma k is the center of the circle and r is the radius. So my job is to convert this equation into this form here. So I'm gonna take my equation, x squared plus y squared plus six x plus five y equals negative 45 over four. And I'm gonna do something called completing the square, right? So I'm gonna combine my x terms together. So I have x squared plus six x. The way that I complete the square here is I take half of this middle term. So half of six is three. And then I square it, so three squared is nine, and I add it in, so plus nine, right? And whatever I do to one side, I must also do to the right side of the equation, so I'm also put a plus nine over here. And I do the same thing with my y values, so I have my y squared with my five y. Half of five is five halves, right? I'm not gonna go to decimal here because I see this as a fraction. Half of five is five halves, 5 halves squared, just so you can see it, 5 halves squared is 5 squared, which is 25, and 2 squared, which is 4. So I add 25 over 4, and this is going to equal my 9 plus, again, I have 25 over 4 to this side for balance, and I still have that negative 45 fourths, which was there originally. Now I take the x terms, and because I completed the square, I can now factor that trinomial, into x plus half the middle term, so six being the middle term, which is three, and squared. That's the beauty of completing the square. I can do the same thing with my y's, right? So I have y plus half the middle term, which was five halves, close parentheses, and squared. And then on the right-hand side, because this is very important, because this is where my radius is, I need to combine all these guys. So I'm gonna start off by turning my nine over one into multiply by four, multiply by four. I'm gonna turn that into a 36 over four plus 25 over four minus 45 over four. 36 plus 25, again, this is the non-calculator section, so be very careful with your math. 30 plus 20 is 50, six plus five is 11, so that becomes 61 over four. 60, so this becomes 61 over four minus 45 over four. 61 minus 45, 60 minus 45 would be 15, so 61 minus 45 would be 16, this becomes 16 over four. 16 divided by four is four, so I have this equals four. And again, that means H is negative three, K is negative five halves, R squared is four, Right? And this is just me taking this simplified circle equation and matching it up with what I explained up here in terms of h, k, and r. And if r squared is equal to 4, then I can square root both sides of that equation. And now I know that r is equal to 2. So the radius of the circle must equal 2. That is the answer.